Mike here, and I'm happy. I just fixed my sound card. See, I've got a Realtek HD audio sound card. For whatever reason, I decided to update it. Well, the updater crashed after removing the old files before adding the new files, and so I had no sound. I tried running the updater again, and I got a message something like the installation failed, or could not find a suitable card, or incompatible, or something, and it would not install it. And so I was running regular Windows HD audio. Now, that's fine and dandy, except the stereo mix option for recording didn't exist, which means I could not record sounds coming straight off the computer, like cli audio clips from videos that I wanted. So I was looking around on the internet, and I, you know, people, a lot of people had this problem, of course, naturally all the problems are like a year two three years old and either their methods don't work for me or no one replies to their thread and nobody has an answer well here is how I fixed it and hopefully this will help you too so right here I've got the 64-bit Windows 7 release of the Realtek HD audio codec which is for my Realtek card now, I don't know if you can do this in all um, driver archives. Uh, this one is just a, it's just a compressed, it's like a zip file with a exe file um, converted to an exe so you can run it. But I'm going to use WinRAR, and I'm going to extract it to its own folder. And now when we go into there, we can see there's the drivers. Those are the audio drivers. Now how do I get those audio drivers into my system? Well, go to your control panel then go to device manager then in device manager you go down to sound video and game controllers the words might be different depending on which version of Windows you're using that's what they are in Windows 7 now earlier this had a Microsoft Windows or some you know generic audio driver which is wrong and I wanted my Realtek one. So you go into whatever it says, go to driver, go to update driver, and there's these two options. Windows will search automatically. Naturally, it's using its own driver, so it already knows it's up to date. It's wrong. Then there's browse computer for driver. We used to use these options in the back in the good old days to choose the floppy drive instead. So you choose browse my computer for driver and then within the browser uh, menus direct it to the folder either the um, the base folder here or the folder with all the drivers in it Windows will instead use these drivers to update its Windows driver instead of whatever it thinks you should use and so after that you restart your computer and if you look at this I now have my stereo mix in here so I can now record sounds off the computer as before. Also, it installed the Realtek Audio Manager for extra options. That's how I fixed my problem. I hope you can use it to fix your problem, or at least give you an idea on how to fix your problem. Thanks.